My name is Dan Nguyen, and I'm a news application developer at ProPublica. Um, government and public data is just one form of data, and my personal philosophy has always been that, uh, especially from any self-interested institution like the government, that you can't really trust the data by itself. Like you need, uh, you need to cross-reference it against something else um, and they and oftentimes that other thing is not in some handy Excel spreadsheet and so when we talk about scraping and scraping can refer uh, most people think of it as uh, scraping web pages but it could be scraping PDFs it could be scraping images scraping is just a term to describe uh, just gathering data points from any kind of data source. So the thing about data is that uh, at this point many companies and or organizations put it out there without realizing, uh, like when they put it out there they see they see like a PDF or a bunch of web pages and they uh, they don't see the big picture of what they're putting out and most most people don't and so not only do you have to not like physically go to a government office and be like, can I Xerox a bunch of things? Uh, you just go to their website and then you, and then they've put it up in this form that's actually relatively easy to get compared to, again, Xeroxing things and then reading all those Xeroxes. Probably my most prominent project that I did was something called Dollars for Docs and it was these comp drug, drug companies that were required to put lists of doctors that they've they have some kind of financial relationship with and these were done like in PDF files, uh, custom websites, sometimes even flash websites and so what I did was I wrote a bunch of programs that collected all of this stuff it was not very hard to be honest and we put it all in a, into a single place where like the news application side was letting people search by name by city and that's uh, still like our most popular uh, service by far What's great is that I didn't have to like meet anyone in a dark garage to get this stuff. Like this is just all out there in the open. And the benefit of getting into data and the benefit of being able to program to, to be able to have be very resourceful in getting data is that there's a lot of low hanging fruit that people have not been able to collect. What keeps what keeps that data data from actually being used is that there's technical barrier barriers that people think exist and yeah there there are some okay it's not as it's not gift wrapped to you but uh, the the relative low amount of skill compared to to learn the programming to get it all together is much less time than doing the months of investigation that that might normally have taken or or just the freakish luck right that some whistleblower comes to you yeah, programming is definitely uh, an investment of time. The great part about lo learning programming or any technical skill today is that there are just so many countless places. I mean, the, there's um, not only Google and the site called Stack Overflow where people just ask like any kind of programming question, but people have put all kinds of free programming books. There's Khan Academy, which is like a bunch of free videos. Uh, and you know university level programming courses and then there's also Code Academy for example is the most popular programming site where you can interactively learn and we didn't have any of this when I went to college like it was all just like sit at a computer in a lab and read out of a textbook. And the, the great thing about the programming community especially is that there's this culture of giving and sharing. Some of it's just to show off, but it's not like it's not like uh, print journalism where uh, you copy even one sentence or quote and you're blacklisted from the profession. Like people, how how I'm able to do 95% of my work is I someone who's put up an example of what they've done and I've copied it and changed like one word. Uh, they've written entire like programs that would be tens of thousands of dollars of professional time to actually build myself and they've made it as simple as like writing down like 
or typing out the the command that they've decided to use, like you know, like detect faces, and then suddenly, like all I have to do is like give it an image, and and their program returns all the faces in that image, and I don't like that's a lot of high level math that I don't even can't even dream of doing. Like I I can't even remember any of my calculus now, so. Uh, that's the great part. Again, the pr programming community is just rife with examples and documentation. And so the hard part is actually, yeah, knowing where to start. But I would, uh, you know, go to Google and type programming tutorial and see, see what comes up or interactive programming tutorials. Like there's just too many to list <laughs> right now vocally, but you, after half an hour of of kind of searching through, you'll find a few, you know, places that are repeatedly uh, commended as resources, and you can kind of start from there, and then you know, find someone that you might know who has a little experience, uh, and then at some point you might want to take an online course or take a night course. But uh, the the thing is that the level, the barrier to entry is so so much lower than it was even five years ago.